I'd heard the same phone call not that long ago. It was when refugees from the Middle East started arriving and people were making them feel welcome, not only with friendship, but with accommodations and food and clothing and whatever else was needed. The annoyed callers were asking Bob, how come we can help these newcomers, but Edmonton's longtime homeless are still living on the streets? And then the calls started coming in again when those fleeing the fire in Fort McMurray were given beds and meals at Northlands. Well, the simple answer is there's a lot being done for the city's homeless. The evacuees were a sudden, urgent need, and as somebody put it, our response showed that Edmonton can walk and chew gum at the same time. The Fort McMurray situation is something that is heralded daily, while quietly, in the background, people and organizations and our own heroes are helping Edmonton's homeless also daily. If the questioning calls serve a purpose, maybe it's to remind us that we don't have to wait for Candy Cane Lane to make a donation to the food bank. Let me know what you think. I'm Bob Layton.